Hey guys, I did a post the other day where I talked about the intersecting chord theorem. No matter where you draw the chord, this will always be true. That this piece times this piece will always equal this piece times this piece. A lot of people asked for me to show the proof, so let's do this. If you connect these two points, it forms a triangle. And if you connect these two points, it forms a triangle. This angle of the blue triangle and this angle of the yellow triangle are going to be congruent to each other because they're vertical angles. Anytime you have two straight lines meeting like this, they form two congruent angles. And then this angle in the blue triangle and this angle in the yellow triangle are also congruent because these are inscribed angles. This angle right here subtends this arc and this angle right here subtends the same arc. In a circle, anytime you have two angles that subtend the same arc, they're congruent to each other. So all of these angles be congruent to this angle right here, this one too. And then similarly, these two angles would also be equal because they subtend the same arc right here. This angle and this angle subtend the same arc. So now we have two triangles with three pairs of corresponding congruent angles. That means they are similar triangles. If we look at the relationships between corresponding side lengths, they'll be proportional. In the blue triangle, here's the A and the D, and in the yellow triangle, here's the Y and the N. So if we set up our proportion, we know that A over Y has to be equal to D over N. And then to simplify this, we can cross multiply. A times N gives us A N, and that's equal to D times Y. This is an informal proof of why the intersecting chord theorem works. So no matter where your two chords are, it will always be true that this times this equals this times this. How exciting.